rips the seams and the first pitch of the 2023 Ace Sun Championship is a strike on the outside corner. We are underway. Teen RBI on the season. Stroked into the right center field gap. Moving over to the left in a diving attempt by Vergara. He can't get there. It rolls all the way to the track. Kepley's got excellent speed. He cuts the bag at second and he's into third with a sliding triple to start off the A-Sun Championship. Thompson ready, leg whip and fire. Off the edge of the bat to the left side, maybe playable. Berg giving room. Will Hoyt, the third baseman on the warning track. He hauls it in for out number one and that's a big first out. Old school guy. Fly ball on the right side of the infield. Catch up, coming all the way over to the second base side. He called off Coppage. The 2-0. It is driven out to deep left center field. Going back on this Vergara to the track to the wall. Vergara made the catch. How did he make that catch? Scooping it just off the top of the gravel. Oh, no, it's gone. Sorry, it was a home run. I thought that was a catch by Vergara. He kind of swooped at it, but that's a two-run jack from Cam Foster. My bad. <laughs> Missed that one. It looked like Vergara made the catch. And I thought I saw an out call by the second base umpire. But that's a two-run jack from Foster on a 2-0 pitch. And a payoff delivery on the way here to Caleb Ketchup. I believe it hit him. It did. A check swing by Ketchup trying to get out of the way. The 3-1 on the way. Check swing. It's high and outside. He did not go. There's not a lot of guys that won't have dirt on their jersey by the end of it. Ketchup takes off for third on a delayed steal and he's in. Payoff delivery. Fly ball in the air out to center field. Kepley getting underneath it. Catch up ready to tag. Kepley makes the catch. He won't even try to go home. Trotting in and scoring the first run of the day for the Lipscomb Bisons, Caleb Ketchup. Jake Berg, a 227 hitter on deck. Be careful here. Runner on the move, stroked out to right field, but in his tracks, a few steps to his right and able to make the catch is Cam Troyer. Are down by one right now. Pulled through the right side hole. Base knock for Todd Hudson in his ace on debut in the championship. 49 hits. Stroked into left field off the bat of Nathan Keeter. This ball is going to bounce and roll all the way to the wall. Berg plays it on one hop. Throws it into catch up. Second and third now for the Liberty Flames. A double for Cheeto Keeter. Nathan Keeter dropped the head of the bat on it. Here's a pop-up bunt. A diving attempt. A throw home and it gets away. One run is in and then holding up over at third base. Nathan Keeter. Thompson settles in with runners on the corners. One already in. Chopper to the right side. Lundgren's going to play it and tag out the runner. Another one will come in to score here. As Kepley gets an RBI ground out. Four to one, Liberty. Thompson rocked a little bit here in the first two innings. And a line drive into right field. That'll be another base knock. Horton's got a hit. Keeter rounding third. No throw home. Five to one, Liberty. Tack on an RBI to Braden Horton's daily resume. Point earlier, Bryce. They know exactly where this ball is going across the plate. First pitch swing from Gray Bretz. Pops it up into shallow right center field. Caleb Ketchup underneath this one. The one-two on the way. Back up the middle. Glanced off of Tepper's mid. Foster gloves. He has no throw. Stroked into left field. Coming over Keeter. He does not make the catch. Trapped it. And it's a base knock for Boak, and he deserved it because that ball was scalded. The 0-1. Shallow right center field, no man's land. Four Liberty Flames going out there, and no one will get it. It drops down for a base knock. Well, you talk about a game of inches. Think about these first three hits in this inning. The 2-2 to Will Lee on the way. Left side, through, down, into the outfield. One Bison run is in. Rounding third, Boak, he will score. It's a two-run single from the ninth-place hitter, Will Lee. And here come the Bisons thundering back. Another payoff pitch on the way to Caleb Ketchup. Upstairs, ball four. The Lipscomb dugout is raucous. 1-0, chop to the left side. Foster off his glove. Into left field. Two more Bison runs will score. Ketchup holds up at third. Into second, Vergara with a celebration. And we have a tie baseball game in the second. So an opening day loss is not the worst thing. Ground ball to the left side again. Another chance for Foster. A run will score. Throw by Foster is high. Coming off the bag with the tag. Braden Horton. That is finally out number one. Looking to spin it out of the pen. Fly ball in the air off the bat of Kelly. Center field. Kepley broke back. Now he comes in towards the gap. 
He makes the catch, and that is mercifully out number three. Tape to be delivered. The fastball upstairs is ball four. Now they can settle in to the semifinals on Saturday and then final on Sunday. Delayed steal attempt. Throw down is going to be in time, but he dropped the ball. Safe. And now thinking about going from second to third, Bird. Slide. Throw. Safe. Drop the ball again. Implement the delayed steal. Big strikeout there as Hertzler punches out Boak. Man, by the skin of his teeth getting out of the way of that one. Almost tagged him up the belt line. Breaking ball, big cut and a miss. Another checking throw, and Hillier throws it into left field, and a run will score. And Hillier with a great throw moments ago, but that one missed the mark by four feet. And they gift the Bisons a run. Bad thing. He's had two successful or nearly successful outs on the base pass, and this one, he tried to elevate it over the batter's head. Base is empty, count is full. Downstairs, ball four. Catch up with a drive, out to deep left center field, going back to the track at the wall. Goodbye! A two-run jack for Caleb Ketchup. And the Lipscomb Bisons opening this one up here in the third inning against Liberty. What did I say earlier, Bryce? He gets better with every at-bat. You can see it, the power resurgence for the sophomore. That five seems a little surprising. Stroked into center field off the bat of Cheeto Keeter. A base knock and a runner aboard for Liberty in their half of the fourth inning. 120, 140 pitches behind the plate. Stroke to the right side. That's a base knock. So back-to-back -back hits. Keeter's on his way to third. Throw in from right field. Skips to Caleb Ketchup. And they're on the corners for the Flames with one away. Hitters count. In the dirt. At first base, Lundgren smartly tags out. Kepley, who then goes tumbling into the grass into score on the play so another rbi ground out to first base for kepley might be why that warning was issued because it's definitely been a physical game number to the shortstop ketchup's got a hurry the throw over to first is in time to retire Braden horton it always feels a lot less than that once you get that first runner on you get some guys on base and all of a sudden that potential there's the runner on so quiet in the box and a stroke to the right side and through this could be deadly as Foster's on his way to second base through into third. Hillier holds up with a single play and it's safe. They're on the corners with one out. The left-hander's ready, takes his time. High fly ball off the bat of Troyer. Right center field. Coming over is the center fielder Vergara. He will make the catch and throw to second base. It's deep enough for Foster to score. And Lipscomb has a run back. It's now a two-run ball game. Sack fly in the book for Cam Troyer. Hillier at first, the one-two, out to the left side. Pretty good wood on this one. It's sinking, and it bounces down underneath the glove of Jake Berg, who never had a good read on that baseball. They're at second and third now. Here it comes. Ball four. Here's the kick and fire. Fly ball, hit well out to right field and deep. Back, track, wall, grand slam for Simmons. On the first pitch from Hayden Frank. And Liberty has jumped out in front. Unbelievable. We're going to get another look at this, but I think this was a middle, middle skittle, and Simmons tasted the rainbow. Absolutely tanked to right field. I cannot believe what I'm watching. Upper level fastball takes it down the line. Knew that one was gone. Really, the only doubt was, was it going to stay fair? It had a lot of twisting motion to it. That was a rocket out to right. Comes as a grand slam in the first game in Pool A against the top-seeded Lipscomb Bisons. Tough play up the middle. It bounces and is through. Kepley with his second hit of the day. At Liberty. Fly ball hit pretty well into right field. No one's getting this one. It's bouncing down all the way to the wall. They had it shaded completely into right center field. Rounding third base, Kepley on that bum knee, slides and scores. An RBI double for Braden Horton, 12. 
nine, Liberty. Home, although it probably tastes a little bit better than first base. Betts with a stroke out into right center field, a diving grab in right field by Lee. There's the 0-1. Ground ball pulled to the left side. Foster's got it. He'll go the short route to second, and the inning is done. Lipscomb threatens, but strands three. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. High heat, 94 of these fastballs. He's got a 3-1 count here, though. And it's ball four. We'll see what he tosses across. Ball four. And now the tying run will come to the plate. 2-2. Two -two. In the air, out to left field. Shallow, playing deep was Keeter. He's racing in, but it'll be Foster as the wind kind of brought that one back to the shortstop. Foster for the catch. That's out number two. But I really would like to win. Off the glove of Hillier, all the way to the backstop, and the runners move up. That takes away a force play. Stretch, kick, and fire. Hot shot left side. Foster's got it. Deep short, the throw across the diamond is off the glove of the first baseman, Horton. It goes to the backstop. Two runs score. Catch-ups at second base. And we're not done yet. The sophomore grips it and fires. Swing and a miss. He got him. And Liberty holds on for a day 